In this video, I'm going to go over a web browser known as the Pell Moon web browser. And if you found this link on YouTube or this video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that will give you a description and how to install it on your Windows or Linux operating system. Now, if you are a Windows user, you can scroll down to the very bottom of the page and I provide the installation files for your Windows operating system. This mostly tells how to install it on a Linux operating system. Now Pell Moon is an open source web browser that's used for both Windows and Linux and it uses the Guana web browser engine. Pell Moon is focused on efficiency and customization and the Guana engine is an independent fork of the Gecko engine used in the Firefox browser and the Thunderbird email client. And if you click this link if you want to take test out the start page of Pell Moon. Before you install it, you click the link and it will take you to this website. This looks like the initial website or the initial start page of Pell Moon when you first bring it up. The only difference is it normally has an ad at the bottom from the Start Me website. It's because I've already installed two different ad blockers that you see here, AdGuard, and then I also have uh, another ad block, uh, ad block Latitude uh, installed as well to remove any ads that may slow the surfing uh, down of the browser making it much faster but going back to my web page here's a lot of features and I'm not going to read all of those again it's optimized for modern processors the only thing about it is it doesn't contain and I have a link here at the bottom that gives a little bit more description it doesn't contain a lot of the DRMs which means if you're someone that uses Netflix Spotify or Pandora or any of the other multimedia websites that has the digital rights management this is a digital rights management free web browser now are there are ways that you can search to install uh, add-ins that will allow it to work on Netflix but I prefer not to add all those add-ins uh, to keep this an optimized browser so if you're looking for something for Netflix uh, I would say go to another browser uh, this one right here is very it's optimized it's very quick this right here shows you the list of operating systems or Linux operating systems that you can install it straight from the repositories I'm using an Ubuntu Mate system so I can click on the uh, binary package here and uh, in the future if this is an older version you can click the Pell Moon to get the most current version you choose which operating system whether it's a Debian based system or a Ubuntu based system since I'm using Ubuntu Mate I click Ubuntu you can choose to add a repository and install it manually by clicking this link and it gives you the instructions or you can click to get the binary package directly so by clicking here if you got still using an Ubuntu or any, any of the derivatives such as 16.04 you can download the installation file here if you're using Ubuntu 18.04 or any of the derivatives you can install for the 64-bit and 32-bit systems and if you're using Ubuntu 2 uh, 20.04 you can install the installation files from here. I am using Ubuntu 18.04.4 so I downloaded this particular file. When you click on it it will download the dev package. You just go to the folder where you downloaded the dev file, double click it to open up your package installer and there's the file that I downloaded. I double clicked it to open up GDB. You may have your system set up to open up with another software installer. Put in your username or your password for your system and then just wait for it to say same version is already installed. Once it installs, and before I show you how you can open it up, if you'd ever want to remove it, you just open up the terminal, type in sudo at remove pelmoon, and it will take pelmoon off your system. Now since I do have mine set up to the traditional menu, you just go to applications, internet, and as you can see right here is pelmoon. But I'm already using pelmoon as the, as you can see here, I'm using pelmoon and the version that I'm currently using if I go to about is the 20.12.0 the 64 bit there's more information release notes the license information and the end uh, user rights along with some a d description here in the center now let's take a look a little bit more about Pell Moon. when you first install it for the first time you'll get congratulations you have successfully installed an upgraded Pell Moon web browser you'll see that screen and then after you close that screen you'll see this particular page which is basically this one and you will have a little message at the bottom that says I will accept cookies you just press the green button and then I recommend if you're using Pell Moon on more than one system to create an account uh, and once you create an account for the start me when you log in on other Pell Moon browsers on other systems 
you don't have to set this up each time. It will pull up the Start Me with the icons and the widgets that you have customized so that you don't have to do all that work multiple times. So it is kind of cumbersome to customize the Start page for the first time and the first time only. But once you get it customized, you can use it on multiple uh, computers and log in with that Start Me website. And it's still part of the Pell Moon. As you can see here, my Start Me is pellmoon.start dot me and it has the information to my website which is my links here so I can open up different emails originally from it did have the Gmail here but because the Pell Moon uses a different uh, web engine it actually uses the the Guana web engine and here's a comparison of them the the engine that's most widely used is the blink because as you can see it's the Google Chrome uses that web engine and all chromium based browsers such as the Microsoft Edge, Brave and Opera. As you can see the old Internet Explorer used the Trident which that's basically been discontinued but a lot of businesses still use it because their software was made for the Internet Explorer and you've got the old Opera browser used the Presto but those are discontinued. Here are the other active uh, engines for browsers and like I said, this one dominates basically the internet. So if you're trying to get away from the Chrome and Chromium based browsers, then this one here is the Guana engine. It's active. There's the Steward and it's a public is the Mozilla. It's a split off from the Mozilla. It's an independent. And the Pell Moon browser and the Basilic browsers are the ones that support this web engine. Now going back to my web page, I recommend you to create an account so that way when you log in and I also recommend you to put some ad blockers uh, on here you might not have to use the ones or you may not want to install the ones that I did but if you want to install the ad guard and the uh, the ad block latitude I do have the instructions for installing these on here when you go to the add-ons page and extensions page there are other ad blockers that you can choose but as you see here without an ad blocker you're going to get all sorts of ads like on YouTube and if you click here there's no if I scroll up and down there's basically no ads on YouTube because of my ad blockers remove them so if you want to install the ad guard I do provide the link here now the ad guard is not linked in the official add-ons from Pell Moon. But if you click this link here, it will show you how to install it. It just will pop up, say install now, and it will say thank you for installing AdGuard. You can set the preferences however you want it to work on your system. For the AdBlock Latitude, if you click this link here, it will take you to the add-ons of Pell Moon. And I don't know why it's not loading at the moment, but it, it might be down for a second. But if you click this link, it should eventually load where you click the install button, and it will install the ad block latitude on your system and it should pop up to look like this hit install now and it will say ad block latitude has been in installed and here if you go to the tools and add-ons you can have other uh, preferences you can disable or remove those so if we go to the tools click on add-ons here's where you can get additional add-ons you can click any of these to install additional add-ons here are your extensions that you've installed for example once you get AdGuard ad blocker installed I recommend you to click on the preferences and you can check uh, switch on and off just like you did when you initially installed it but here's where you can click check for filter updates to make sure your filters for AdGuard are updated so when you click this it will go out across the internet it says English filter updated to the version and it shows you that it updated your AdGuard filters so that way you're using the most current filters for AdGuard on your system so here you know, like you can disable a add-on so if you want to add-on and it's conflicting you can disable it instead of removing it or if you choose to remove it you can click on remove here's where you can look at your themes or install I've installed and played with a lot of different themes and as you can see here the one that's bold is my current theme that I have here so I did click a several themes and then I like this one the best I can click remove or I can enable it which would disable this and, and enable this particular theme and you have the plugin section so when you go to about add-ons it will allow you to customize the add-ons and themes and extensions for the browser now if you continue to scroll down and here's how I show you how you can set up the uh, the ad guard as I showed you just a moment ago here's what it looks like and I have a link here where you can go and sign in or create an account at the start me and 
there's an example when I clicked from the YouTube how it went to the YouTube and with that with my ad guard there's no ads on here or ad at the top as you can see I'm scrolled at the top just as there was when I clicked on YouTube as you can see here it has a political ad at the top here so using your ad blockers will remove a lot of unnecessary ads speeding up your internet as you can see here there's no little banner at the bottom as it was when you first initially installed you had a little become a pro it has a little ad at the bottoms so I recommend you to install an ad blocker to remove remove those annoying ads now, I'm not going to go through here and read every picture I put because I go through here and explain how to customize and delete widgets that you don't want how to add widgets like the weather widget that you, you can see I added on this page how to change the background image from the original moon in the sky since it's called pale moon to a, a different image and I show you how you can click on links on the side to to make your widgets transparent so that you can see through them as you can see here they're see-through whereas here they're more solid so if you want to learn how to customize and pale moon the older versions didn't support the HTML or uh, HTML5 this newer version does so if I click on to a YouTube video it'll take a moment or two to load and once it does it is crisp and clear so let it load for a moment it's and I can speed it up by just a little bit and there it is you can see it's crisp and clear I can go full screen so the YouTube works great within Pell Moon now if you need to make any adjustments if YouTube flickers or stutters you can go into uh, open up your browser put the about instead of add-ons you can go to about config I'll open up another tab if I go to my about config I say paste here it's it says it's reminding you it can be dangerous it's almost like even the windows when you edit the registry you gotta say be careful when you go here you can type in search acceleration and when you find layers dot acceleration dot force by default it is turned to false if you double click that you can toggle it from false to true and that should remove any st stuttering that you may get or problems that you may have on YouTube now if you have a black theme like I do and you have white text on white backgrounds you can go into uh, I show you how to troubleshoot where you can open up your about support just like I did while I go with about config you go to about support I hit go then you're gonna on profile directory it's you hit open and it's gonna open your file manager in this case I'm using Kaha you're, if you're going to look for a folder called Chrome if you do not have a folder called Chrome create one and make sure that the C of Chrome is a lowercase c double click it and this is the file right here that's the important one the ones that gets rid of the white text on the white background and if I say open it with pluma this is the contents that you should put in that file now if you don't feel safe about creating this file on my website I do provide a link uh, so that you can download this file if you look here I show you where to put it and there's the file I do have it in my Dropbox so when you click this link it'll take a moment or two and it will show you the contents inside the file and if you wait for a moment or two to load you can actually come over here and click the download button to download this particular file and once you get it downloaded put it into that folder that's opened up it's your moonchild it's going to have your home folder with the moonchild productions pale moon and whatever the uh, files that it has here and you open up that Chrome extension move that file into this folder close the file manager and close your browser and when you open it up you should not have white text on a white background there's actually text in this box there's text in this box and there's text in this box and you can't see it after I installed that file that I showed you where you download it you open it back up and it should be black text on a white background that will fix your problem Now, if you're not using a dark theme or you're not having that problem you don't need to worry about creating that file or putting it in there I just have that on there because that was a problem I ran into using Pell Moon over the last week now as you can see I've already showed you how to go to the add-ons just go to the tools click add-ons and it will 
allow you to choose add-ons, additional add-ons, how to go through on the side to choose or change or remove a particular add-on. Here shows you the preferences. I can go up to tools. I can click on uh, preferences and you have a lot. Let me minimize this. You have a lot of different preferences. Here's your general which you can change your start page. You can choose what, how your tabs behave, how the content is displayed on your screen, what applications that you have usable within your Pell Moon, your privacy settings, your track and your location bar. You've got security, how you can adjust and increase or decrease the security of your browser, how to create an account. As you can see here, I've logged in with my Gmail account. That's the only time I've linked it is uh, when I put my Gmail account to link this so that it will pull in my history, my tabs, my preferences, my password, my bookmarks, and here's the advanced tabs that you can go through here. Now be careful when you are going into the advanced tab about making any settings in that one. So these are your preferences. Again, Pell Moon is very customizable, and as I, as I said earlier, it's DRM free. So if you're looking for a browser for Netflix, Spotify, and Pandora, you might want to look at other browsers. Uh, you know, they take pride in this being a DRM free browser. So don't think that that's a bug in this browser. And if you want additional ways for installing it to other Linux distributions, click this link and it will have provide you information. For downloading it for Windows, you click this link. And if you have any questions or concerns about Pell Moon, I'm not an expert at it. I've been using it a week. I recommend you to click the Pell Moon forum and you can post questions within pick the correct category and other Pelmon users along with the creator will look at this occasionally and answer any questions that you may have and again like I said I like the start me web page uh, and I'm not going to click on any of these musics but just because it's DRM free doesn't mean you can't play musics I have it set for the AccuRadio, the iHeartRadio uh, I, the, as you can see the links and I even have YouTube music and it works and it works great as you can see here I did customize it I changed a lot of things like social I'm not big into the I do have Facebook and Twitter I hardly ever use Twitter and I hardly ever post anything on Facebook anymore but so I took the social and I changed it to office so when I click any of these like my Outlook my OneDrive office which gives me link to more than the word excel powerpoint and calendar I put the outlook on under here since it's part of this package rather than putting it under my email over here I've got the different search engines from DuckDuckGo, Yandex, Bing, Yippee and Yahoo here are the search engines where I can type here and search at DuckDuckGo it has other search engines and I can click here to manage my search engine to remove or add different search engines here as you can see my weather widget shows me the current temperature now what the temperature will be like the high for today and a future forecast so this is just a quick rundown of the Pell Moon browser so if you're looking for a different Pell Moon or if you're looking for a different browser please give Pell Moon a try uh, and like I said it's a little cumbersome when you first install it and setting it up so don't get discouraged about that but once you start using it I think you will enjoy using the Pell Moon browser Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and have a great day.